Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's news is wireless fish tanks hacking casinos. Last week, a number of media publications had stories talking about how a fish tank hijacked a casino. As it turns out, all these stories are based on a little blurb in a report that was put out by Darktrace. They released their 2017 uh, kind of global cyber threat report, which had 10 different threats and specific cases of those threats happening. Now, one of those threats was this particular attack that they claim happened. And they don't share a ton of relevant technical details, just high-level highlights. Long story short, according to this report, an unnamed casino, which we don't know, uh, ordered a fancy fish tank. And this fish tank was really a Internet of Things device, an IoT device. It has like a wireless thermostat and other things that will share with the cloud all kinds of information about your fish tank. Now, according to Darktrace, the casino that put this in place was trying to segment it, and it only allowed access to any corporate uh, assets through a single VPN connection. Meanwhile, the fish tank apparently has some sort of cloud connection to where it shares the data from its sensors. In either case, according to Darktrace, they went in after this particular fish tank was installed and, and they put in their logging uh, uh, product where they suddenly saw this IoT fish tank sharing some unusual communications. They basically saw it connecting to some sort of Finnish IP address and it shared up to 10 gigabytes of information with that Finnish IP address. And apparently they're claiming they were able to use this fish tank as kind of a bastion host to hijack the casino network and exfiltrate data. Now, there's not really a whole lot of information about how they hacked the, the fish tank's wireless thermostat in the first place, or really how much access they had to any of the casino's real networks, because apparently they segmented this fish tank from the network. But in any case, Darktrace is using this incident to say that they took 10 gigabytes of information, and a lot of people made stories about it. Anyway, so why am I mentioning this? Frankly, I don't think there's enough technical information about this particular hack to give you super specific takeaways here. But the reason I want to mention this anecdotal story is really kind of to share with you one of the threats with the Internet of Things. We have a ton of devices nowadays, non-business devices in our networks. And a lot of these devices look benign. For instance, a classic example is a refrigerator that has an Internet connection. Why the heck would an attacker go after a refrigerator? You know, at worst, he can maybe make your food go bad if he could turn it off. So really, are criminal attackers going to go after these weird IoT devices, like, I don't know, an IoT coffee maker, or in this case, a fish tank? And the thing I always tell people is you gotta realize that these can be privileged access for these hackers. Even though it's a fish tank, a refrigerator, or a non-critical, non-business item, if it's living on your local network and it's running Linux, it's a perfect platform for an attacker to infect and then laterally move through the rest of your network. So this story is a perfect example of how even consumer IoT, something as, as benign as a fish tank, could become a bastion host on your network that attackers would use and have value simply because it's within your internal perimeter and they can pivot to it. So be sure as you uh, gather IoT devices, realize that even if they don't seem that dangerous, they could provide local access to a hacker. So maybe segment them accordingly. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.